بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد continue on in our treaties بيان عقيدة أهل السنة والجماعة فرقة ناجية the clarification of the عقيدة and creed of أهل السنة والجماعة as was written by Sheikh Al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah this beautiful text Aqidat al-Wasatiyah we reach the point in the treaties where Sheikh Al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala was bringing the evidence from the Quran which affirms the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Qala Sheikh Al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala إثبات إثبات يدين لله تعالى في في القرآن الكريم. so this is the affirmation of the F one إثبات الوجه لله سبحانه وتعالى. this is the affirmation of the face of Allah the glorified. and he said وقوله ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام وقوله كل شيء كل شيء هالك إلا وجه in those two verses Allah سبحانه وتعالى says in the first verse which is in سورة الرحمن Allah سبحانه وتعالى says and the face of your Lord full of majesty and honor will abide forever and in the second verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Everything will perish, save his face. And that's in Surah Al-Qasas. Shaykh Salah ibn Fuzan, half of Allah ta'ala says in those, uh, about those two verses, he says that the main point here in those two verses is that they affirm that the waj, waj they affirm the waj lillah subhanahu. وَهُوَ مِنْ صِفَاتِهِ أَذَاتِيَ فَهُوَ وَجْءَ عَلَى حَقِيقَتِهِ يَلِيكْ بِجَلَالِهِ وَقَوْلُهُ لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ لَا كَمَا يَزْعَمُ مُعَطَّلَ الصِّفَاتِ أَنْ الْوَجْءَ لَيْسَ عَلَى حَقِيقَتِهِ وَإِنَّمَا مَرَادْ بِهِ ذَاتْ أَوْ ثُوَابْ أَوْ جِهَا أَوْ غَيْرَ ذَلِكَ وَهَذِهِ تَعْوِلَاتِ بَعْطِلَةً So Shaykh Salih bin Fuzan, Hafidh Allah Ta'ala, he mentioned about those two verses, that the main point regarding those two verses is that they affirm the face for Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala, that Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala has a face, and that it is one of his sifat thati, as we mentioned before, we mentioned the sifat breaking into uh, the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breaking into two divisions or two types, you could say. Sifat dhatiya wa sifat fi'liya. And sifat dhatiya, this is uh, things like the waj wa yadain wa aynain and things like, and, and, and these sifat, these attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they are the dhatiya. They describe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are his sifat for himself. Whereas the sifat fi'liya, which is all those that we mentioned in the previous uh, lessons, refer to those attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which are attributes in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does. You know, those are things that he does when we say uh, sifat maji or sifat nuzul, or sifat uh, istiwa, or sifat... Uh, all of those things, whether it be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rising above his throne, or whether it be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as was narrated by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends to the lowest heaven every last third of the night. So then that hadith affirms for us the descension, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descends. But Ahl Sunnah, we say, we don't know the kafia As Imam Malik, uh, very beautifully articulated that qaida of ahl sunnati wal jama'ah he said that the uh, al istawa 
ma'lum wa kayf hiya majhul so he said that the istawa how allah uh, ascends above his throne is 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 known that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's known that allah does that that istawa is known ma'lum lakin kayf hiya majhul but the kayf the how is unknown we don't know so we don't claim to know that knowledge of the ghayb, nor is that knowledge beneficial to us. It's sufficient for us to know what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave us and what the Prophet sallallahu left us within the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Delving into matters which have no benefit that are not going to bring us closer to Allah are of no benefit to us. So what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirmed for himself, we affirm. And what he negated for himself, we negate. And what the Prophet Sallallahu affirmed and negated, we do likewise, alayhi salatu wasalam. So, going back to the statement of Shaykh Salah bin Fuzan, as he mentioned that this, that the, the wajh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of his sifat, thatiyya. And it is, uh, we believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his face is ala haqiqatihi, that he, that it is, that it is a real face. But again, the kafiyah we don't know. Kafiyah al kafiyah majhul. How and all its characteristics and this and that and the other are majhul. It's unknown to us. Nor are we like the majessima or like the mushabbiha. Uh, those who try to make a likeness between Allah and His creatures or His creation. Absolutely not. We don't say Allah's face is like this and our face is like this or etc. We don't make a, any resemblance. There is no resemblance. And this is why Sheikh Salah bin Vazan mentioned the ayat where Allah Tabarakul Ta'ala says, and this is a qa'idah azim, this is a very qa'idah qa'ida azima. It's a very important um, principle that we have to adhere to that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established for us in the Quran fi kitabi al Karim. He said, Laysa kamithlihi shay. He said, there is nothing that resembles him. And then he affirms for himself. And then he is the all-hearing and the all-seeing. So here, Sheikh Salah bin Fazan mentioned that there's nothing like him. So that negates making any resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's face and, his, and the, face, the faces of his creation. For example, the face of mankind, or the face of a cat, or the face of an elephant, or the face of an ant, or whatever creature, uh, that we make no resemblance between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his face, or and the face of his creatures. But we know Allah has a face, but the kafiyah, how? We don't know. And this is the aqid of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. And this is unlike the claims of the Ma'atala, who. Uh, negate the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they negate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a, a face or they negate it in the in the way that a sha'ira do and they make ta'wil. For example, they say the that if they do affirm that Allah has a face, they say laysa ala haqiqati. That it, they, they believe it's a face but not a face, uh, not a real face, so to speak. But rather, they mean by that that it refers to him himself, subhanahu, or that it refers to his reward, a thawab, or it refers to a place or a direction, or other than that, from their, as Sheikh Salah bin Fuzan, wahadhi ta'wilat batila, from those various ways of misinterpreting that this, this is false. These are false misinterpretations or reinterpretations of the ayats of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the attributes of Allah the Almighty and Majestic subhanahu wa ta'ala. So those are the two two things that we gain from those verses is the affirmation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's uh, uh, face and we also go back to those kuwa'id that we mentioned before that uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's face 
uh, that 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 uh, that there is that there is nothing that resembles him. So we do not make a likeness between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his face, any of his attributes, and the likeness of his creation. And that's what di differs Ahl Sunnah from the Mujassimah. Although many people misunderstood, misunderstand this, many of the uh, Sha'ida and the various uh, Mu'attila uh, and those people who are uh, affected by their creed, they claim and attack Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah on this point. And they attack Ahl Sunnah on this point. They say, hey, you guys say that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a face. We say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a face, yes. But the Kayfiyah Mishhul, as Imam Malik said, the how is unknown. But these people claim, they say that when you say Allah has a face, that it necessitates that his face is like his creation. Ahl Sunnah says, la, no. Because Allah affirms for himself these attributes, so we affirm them. The Prophet Wasallam affirmed those attributes, so we affirm them. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates for himself that there's any resemblance between him and his creation. لَيْسَ كَمِتْ لِشَيْهُ وَسَعْمِيُنْ بِصِيرٌ وَقَوْلَهُ تَعَالَى قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدَ اللَّهُ السَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُلَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوَانْ أَحَدْ And there's nothing that resembles him. There's nothing that resembles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms for himself his divine attributes and he negates the resemblance uh, between uh, his, his, cre his uh, creation. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another important uh, benefit I want to bring is some uh, uh, one of the statements of Shaykh al-Islam himself, rahimahullah ta'ala, in one of his other, uh, coming from his Mijmu'ah Fatawa, I believe, or let's see where this statement, it's a beautiful statement, because he, this explanation of Aqidah Tawasatiyah is actually in fact, uh, an explanation which comes from other books of Shaykh al-Islam so that way you get the marad of Shaykh al-Islam khalis you get what he meant uh, in his, his book from his own statements in his other books it's a beautiful uh, uh, compilation and explanation of Aqidah Wasatiyah by Shaykh Khalid uh, Ibn Abdullah al-Muslih and it's very very beneficial and in it, he brings a statement of Shaykh al-Islam about the, regarding the Wajh. And he said, Qala Shaykh al-Islam, that, I'll have to give the, uh, I've misplaced the statement. But Shaykh al-Islam was referring to, he said that it was He said here, في هذه الآية الكريمة This is about رضا Actually we want the statement It's a very important statement because he was letting us know that it's ijma of Ahl Sunnah uh, that it was a consensus of Ahl Sunnah in affirming those uh, those sifat, those attributes of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Here, here's the statement here. Qala Sheikh, fi had fi hatain al ayatain al karimatain ifbat waj al waj lillah Taala. So in these two verses, as we mentioned before, and this was the statement of Sheikh Salim bin Fazan as well that in these two ver verses, they affirm for us the, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, has a face. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said, وثبوت الوجه وصورة لله قد جاء في نصوص كثيرة من الكتاب والسنة واتفقوا على ذلك السلف أمة So this, is, this, this was the point I wanted to mention. Hey, Shaykh al-Islam, he said that affirming the face for Allah the Almighty has come in many uh, in many verses from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and there is consensus upon this from the Salaf of this Ummah, from the 
pious predecessors. When Sheikh al-Salam is referring to the Salaf, he's generally talking, when he's talking about the Salaf of this Ummah, he's talking about the pious predecessors, meaning the Sahaba, Tabi'in, Wittabai, Tabi'in, that they have consensus about this, that, that uh, the, the, the verses and the Sunnah, the Prophet wasallam affirms that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a face, and that these are, uh, this affirms Sifat uh, Vatiya. In another statement, another very beautiful statement, which is very important for us, especially for those who have doubt about the Aqidah, uh, and, and maybe have ignorance or haven't researched into the Aqidah, of the Aimmata Sunnah, the Fuqaha like Imam Abu Hanifa, we Imam uh, Malik, we Imam Shafi'i, we Imam Ahmed, Rahimahumullah Jami'an. That Shaykh al Islam he mentions also, he says, Wumina Ma'loom, or his statement comes after this. This is how he integrated this statement into the statement of Shaykh al Islam. He said, Wumin Ma'loom, Anna. And then he's, this is the statement of Shaykh al-Islam. A'immata ahl sunnah wal hadith min ashaba a'imma al-arba yuthbituna sifat al-khabariya. That the, it is well known that the imams of ahl sunnah and hadith from the four imams, meaning uh, the imams we just mentioned, Imam Abu Hanifa to Imam Ahmed, that they affirm the sifat khabariya, meaning those sifat that were, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger, alayhi salatu wa salam, um, uh, told us about in the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and that we would only know about from the Quran and the Sunnah. We would not be able to deduce those sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without dalil, without evidence from the Quran and the Sunnah. And then he mentioned, kelwaj wa yadain. He said, like the face, uh, hands, and the, the two eyes. So that affirms for us what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala affirms for us on himself subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with thabad ala sunnah, and with the correct aqidah, the aqidah, ittaqad of ahl sunnati with jama'ah. And I want to end by one last statement. Uh, the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, which also affirms for us the hadith of Abi Musa al-Ash'ari radiallahu ta'ala anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Hijabuhu nur, O Nar, Lo Keshapahu Li Uhrekat, Li Uhrek, Li Uhrekat, Subahatu Wajhi, Ma Entaha Ilehi Basaruhu Min Khalkihi. So in this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, His cover is radiance or fire, meaning the hijab of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is radiance or it's fire. He said, If he uncovers it, then the brightness of his countenance will burn up the creature, meaning those who, who were to try to look at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, would burn up the creature up to the end of his sight. So it shows you how alim that uh, the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, and it affirms for us again from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a face and we affirm it as Allah affirms it and we affirm it like the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirms it and how the salaf of this ummah affirmed it and we negate which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala negates for himself and we do not make a likeness between Allah and his creation unlike the mujassima and the mushabbiha nor we do negate negate those sifat like the mu'attala from the various forms of the Mu'attila who practice the various forms of Ta'til wa, wa Tahrif for, from the Jahmiya to the Mu'tazila to the Asha'ira to the Karamiya to the Matridiya uh, all the way to those modern 
groups and sects who really are just the offshoot of the Asha'ira and others. For example, the Ahbash uh, that were followers, that are followers of Abdullah bin Harari, which I, I, I believe truly, as many of the sects before us, they disappeared. I believe they will disappear now that their leader is de deceased. That in the future, most of the Muslims will reject their creed to such an extent that those people will probably no longer exist, but they will probably transmute into another sect, as Ahl Bida constantly does throughout time. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.